So hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker at my Holiday Inn Express, which is actually quite nice, I have to say. It's, uh, it's not bad. Um, and where we are right now is Historic Williamsburg. I believe that's how you uh, phrase it. We're going to York River State Park, as guided by River. Um, hopefully for a view before the sun fails, because I only got up here today. It's pretty cold. It was like 46, 45, 46 the whole way up here. So I have obviously not seen a whole lot of Williamsburg just yet because I haven't been here very long. Um, I literally arrived really not very long ago at all. Um, but so far so good. It's absolutely beautiful here. Like really, 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 really nice. Um, definitely more kind of like nice little city vibes going on than you have in, in, in anywhere down around where I actually live. And this is about... It took me... Including stops, it took me about 3 hours 45 minutes. I guarantee you this light's not... Oh, thank God, a car. Lights over here don't pick up motorbikes, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, no, so far so good. It's really nice. Uh, really nice around here, around these ports. America seriously needs to get its traffic light situation in order. It's an absolute bloody joke. I've been waiting here for several minutes. It's a shit show, is what it is. Your traffic lights suck everywhere. Just put in some bloody roundabouts. So let's see how River gets on with this um, this area. It's been pretty good so far, although right now I'm actually off the road. But anyway, that's our River. That's more than likely the iPhone. I will say up around this area is definitely the way they have it done. My brain is a lot more comfortable with the the aesthetic you know the fact there's trees by the road and it's not all just open grassland and whatever else it's just it's a little bit more comfortable so maybe one day Virginia could be on the option list for uh, living but I don't know because they actually I think they get more worser winters here grammar I'm good at it but it's just it's just a lot more um, I don't want to say it's not it's not like it's old timey because it's not it's all quite modern and nice around here it's just the aesthetic they've gone for here is a lot more i'm not going to say comfortable but it's just a lot more kind of i don't know it's just nice you know it's just really nice how kind of cozy everything is there's actually trees and fences and fences and dividers and whatnot it's just it's a little bit more a little bit more comfortable like that's even a like really cool fence now i know this whole thing is it's historic williamsburg horses um so obviously they try to keep it a little bit more historic -y looking which you know i'm fine with because it also is uh just a little bit nicer to look at i think i go right here is it looks like it but it's just uh it's just it's just a really nice little place to be here you know what i'm saying it's just kind of like comfortable Oh shit, wrong lane. I honestly, I think Williamsburg is one of those places I could definitely, uh, you know, book book somewhere to stay for a week and just ride around all the different roads because they're all like tree-lined avenues and stuff. Even on the way in here, you know, I took a, I took a turn off, which you'll probably get to see in one of the other videos. I took a turn off just because it, it showed I could go that way on Google Maps. And um, it was just a really nice, nice little kind of, kind of by road that was off the main road and I mean that's always a good thing I think if you're ever if you're ever traveling for the sake of traveling you know if you're traveling because you want to be on your motorcycle which is I mean why I am out today you know um, it's not really like I'm going to a destination which is great but I want the journey to be as nice as possible and I don't think anyone has ever said that and then went on highways freeways motorways whatever you call them in your part of the world um, I think motorways make sense to be honest I prefer I prefer where I'm from method of calling them words but even like these like two lane roads that I'm on right now if I had the choice if I had more time and more light there's not a hope in hell I'd be on this road because you know why not take all the lefts and rights oh that's really beautiful that's awesome you know, uh, just take all the lefts and rights and, and just figure it out. You find your way there. That's also really beautiful. This whole area is beautiful. Uh, and that's my biggest complaint with River. Is that River doesn't... Um, it doesn't auto-update when you take a random turn. 
which means that I pretty much can't, not that I can't take random turns, I can, um, but it's just a pity that it doesn't it doesn't work well because when you put in like the twisty routing on river it does work better than the avoid highways routes on google but it's just that you can't you can't just if i see a road i like i can't just take it because it won't figure itself out now i do need to actually take time to look through the settings at some point and see is there a setting in there that will fix that um because obviously i would much prefer i could do it if, if i could do that you know to just make a hell of a lot um more sense bit of v-twin hill start action share the roads now you know you're on a good road when when you see a road that cyclists like to use we won't say ruin use generally it means it's quite a nice road for for motorcycling also <laughs> except for this big long straight but i don't agree with straights oh look we're actually run adjacent to the highway that's cool i like how they still leave it as an option so you don't have to use the highway um, because I do find them excessively boring um, and also dangerous because a lot of people text on the highways, text and drive on the highways and whatnot. You see them drifting all over the place. And uh, honestly, you know, I've been, it's something I've been asked a huge amount. Is it, um, just turn on my heated grips here a little bit. Um, you know, are the drivers here worse than in Ireland or whatever else? And I don't think so. I don't think on average, I think everyone's kind of equally terrible in cars. It's just car drivers in general, unfortunately, suck. Um, and I honestly just treat like when I'm out in the road that I'm pretty much at war with all of them and they're all trying to kill me because it's the safest way to be, you know? Do you know what it is as well? I just, I just figured it out. I just figured it out. So the type of the trees that are around here are, um, you know, a lot more like the trees at home. Oh no, someone must have crashed there. So like, I think that also just kind of plays into... You know, the whole mental comfort thing, it's like, yeah, the familiarity, that's the word. And um, when I look in there, I'm like, oh yeah, there's, that's what a forest kind of looks like to me, you know? Um, whereas obviously in, in North Carolina, it's a lot more swampy. At some point, um, we will get over to Roanoke Island. And you know, Roanoke, um, when the, the people did the landing from where they were, when the British landed there, basically, um, they had a huge problem making their way through the marshes and everything else because obviously they're incredibly wet and humid and there's lots of bugs and whatnot and uh, I can really understand why because even when I was there well, when we first moved over here it was still pretty warm and um, yeah I can oh shit I really need to watch where I'm going you know that so I can understand why they had a hard time whereas you know, when you got here and settled here, it's just, uh, like I said, it's a bit more familiar uh, to, to Britain. Obviously, I've been to the UK a few times, um, which is very similar geographically, temperature-wise and trees-wise to Ireland. Um, so I can really understand why they probably got up here and were like, oh, this, this makes a lot more sense uh, to our brains. Preserve Fenton Mill. I agree. This is nice. You should preserve it. But they, they, look, that's the thing, you know, I think that's one of the things about uh, North Carolina is it's gone very, very developed everywhere, you know, it's just like strip roads and uh, lots of franchise fast food places and all that. And it's like, that's all well and good. What I think how Washington has done it, just let, I'm, I'm, I apologize anyone from Washington, but little Washington has done it. Um, in North Carolina, uh, yeah, I think if you preserve that bit of his history and preserve that little bit of like actual niceness and don't just modernize everything, it's just a lot nicer and you're going to get a lot more visitors because, especially people like me, you know what I mean? If, if, if people on motorcycles want to visit somewhere, generally what we want is nice roads and good coffee. That's it. That's it. And a clean bed. And that's why I I think Ireland is an underrated motorcycle destination because we have great food in Ireland, we have great coffee in Ireland, and most of our roads are really, really nice. I do love how this bike, you can just keep the revs so, so low and just, you know, go into a corner, give it a good brap on the way out. Phew. Oh, look at this, look at this. Now this is a road. 
two thumbs up from me. Very nice. Yeah, this is nice. This is real nice. There's a lot to be said for good owl trees, you know. <laughs> I like the way I definitely could have just turned onto the main road back there and Rever was like, no, 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 you said you want twisty, so you get twisty. <laughs> Rever, thumbs up. No complaints from me. Deaf child area. You know, that is a really cool sign. That's actually, I'm really impressed by that. Because I don't think I've ever seen that in any other country in the world. So you just have to watch that a child who cannot hear you coming might run out. That's, um, that's actually nice to see. Well done locality. Including, including people like that. That's very good. I like that. Well done. Oh, look at the tractor. That's cool. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, these roads, these roads, I 100% could pootle about and just, oh, horses, and just talk, talk on. This is, this is lovely. This is, yeah, <laughs> people are probably like, shut up saying it's lovely. I will eventually, but it is, it's really nice, you know. A lot of the roads I've done recently have just been big, wide open nothing on the coastal plains of North Carolina, which is cool, you know, it's, it's, it's just another experience, right? But definitely, this is this is my jam. On nice roads that just turn back on themselves for absolutely no reason at all, with some trees alongside them. On the way, oh, another horse on the way to a state park. That's that's how life should be. That's all I want from life. Kitty. Plus, these roads are delicious. You know, nice and narrow. Lots of blind spots. An element of danger. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I like that, but I do. And okay, so that's the outlet road. So I imagine we turn down this one. York River State Park. This is it. We made it. So York River State Park doesn't really have any crazy history to it. It is just much more around the scenery. Uh, and there's also uh, 30 plus miles of hiking trails down here. So I'm obviously not going to be hiking today because it's 46 degrees and I'm in bike gear and it's 46 degrees. And just to mention one more time, it's 46 degrees. So there definitely will be no hiking done by me um, today, right now. <laughs> but uh, if there's something that you wanted to do, you could definitely come here. Oh, that's a nice house in a beautiful area. You know, you could definitely come here and, um... Jeez. Stop. Christ almighty, Cardo. Cardo can just really get on my nerves sometimes. I did not say okay, Google. Anyway, beautiful scenery back there. But yeah, oh, look at that. Yeah, you could definitely come here and enjoy hiking trails and scenery, you know, if that's what you're, if that's what you're into. Hello. That's a nice bike, sir. He had bags. I just still have my backpack. Which, you know, is fine. Touring with a backpack is okay. It just means you have to really limit yourself a lot more. You know, like I rode the whole way back from Germany with just this exact backpack. It's very doable. Um, especially these Kriegers, they, they hold you correctly. Um, so you don't really feel them on your back. Um, you still know they're there. But certainly it's a case of getting used to them, you know. Um, it's a case of getting used to them. And I, I would recommend it if you can't afford, you know, panniers or whatever else. Like at the moment, I can't afford panniers and all that stuff. Um, certainly that, it, it, you know, a backpack is, is a very, very, very good uh, option um, instead of those. And you can still travel around. You just maybe can't go for as long or as far. Um, unless you're happy wearing, reusing the same clothes. Like right now, I just brought a change of socks and underwear and that'll do me just fine. Same t-shirts and stuff for two days. Am I gonna smell a bit? Maybe. Do I care? Absolutely not. Also, it's so cold, I definitely will not smell a bit because there's no liquid leaving my pores to cool me whatsoever. 
That's all staying in there. Whoosh. Hello. Hello. A V-Strom. V-Strom, friends. See, I told you. I told you bikers will literally look on Google Maps and be like, oh, that looks like somewhere that would be nice to stop and look out at a view for a few minutes. Honestly, that's... <laughs> That's what bikers do, it's hilarious. Oh. Parking for a bike is five dollars. If I wasn't on holidays, uh, this would not be getting paid, let me tell you. That is criminal. Absolutely bloody criminal. Charging five dollars for people to get in here. York River State Park, honestly, that's ridiculous. Like, if you want to make it so that it's like, I don't know, $5 optional donation, that's all well and good, but I want to be here for like 10 minutes. This is robbery. But the reason I'm paying it for everyone on camera wondering why I'm paying it, because it is a state park, and I don't mind supporting state parks. However, $5 for a motorcycle... Honestly, guys, that's not good enough. Northern card. Oh, I don't see cardinal. Bald eagles. Great egret. White-tailed deer. Great fox. There's a lot of cool things here. Oh, an eastern king snake. They have snakes here. I know when I looked it up online, um, there really is quite a lot of like really nice-looking trails around here. Um, I would like to come back someday and walk them. Obviously, I think that would be a big Sue's trip. Come up in the suburban, stay around the place and, you know, get out one or two days for walks or whatever else. Now, obviously, there's a lot of other places I want to go to. So we'll see. We'll wait and see um, when the time comes. Little birdies. The little birdies. But this... Ooh. <laughs> that view just opened up. That is... Absolutely stunning. A view through the trees. That is literally what I come to places like this for. Views like that. I don't think, you know, any GoPro or a camera photo or whatever ever does justice to being somewhere like this. It's just gorgeous. The sun setting out in the water beautiful but you can see there there's one walkway down you can rent um you can rent rent canoes or kayaks here also <sighs> um and go on the the river which also looks very nice so really there's quite a lot of options and I, I found that like literally two and a half minutes on google that's what i found about york river state park oh this is it this is the Tascansas creek research reserve Look. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna hold my breath so you can hear the birds. Okay, I can't hold any longer. That bird up there is chattering away. Very cute. That is amazing. I love the way it just winds back and forth and back and forth until it gets out into the actual open water. And how that happens, um, if you ever look it up, so as the, the this creek traced its path, I assume this is a natural one, um, they just keep changing their route over the years because they'll, they'll already be flowing one direction, dump a lot of um, like dirt and whatever else and then just reroute around it until they find the easiest path and then eventually like this one they'll just stick with that and that will be that i hope you enjoyed this spin out to uh this, res this park i hope you enjoyed the view um i hope you enjoyed the ride out and the little nice trails i don't think there's any more like good good views that was the one i saw online that was the one i wanted to see um that one back there that we just looked at. John Smith 
explored the Chesapeake Bay in the early 1600s, seeking precious metals in a passage to Asia. Best of luck with that, buddy. Smith and his crew sailed and rode a primitive 30 foot boat nearly 3,000 miles. Holy shit. Native inhabitants. At the time of Smith's explorations, an estimated 50,000 American Indians dwelled in the Chesapeake region as their ancestors had for thousands of years. Their sophisticated societies including, included arts and architecture, systems of government, extensive trade and communication networks, and shared spiritual beliefs. The native peoples hunted, fished, grew crops, and gathered food and raw materials from the land and waterways. It doesn't tell me which, which Native Americans though. Which is a pity. That's where we're here. So that's where it winds its way out to the York River and then out to sea. Very cool. I'm gonna walk over. There you go, there's the view. Alright, if you watched, thank you very much for watching. As always, a very special thank you to all of my patrons who I'm meeting up with one of them this evening. I do appreciate your support, and until next time, thank you again for watching. Adios. Outro crew. Do you prefer this state park? Onto an actual big river? Or the noose cliffs of noose state park? Let me know.